Welcome to Getting Started in Sage One Payroll. Whether you're a brand new business or starting mid year, Sage One makes it easy for you to get up and running. To get started in Sage One, you have two options. Either you can start with a blank company if you just want to start from scratch and are using payroll for the first time, or you can import your data if you've used different software this tax year. This allows you to enter your employees' year to date figures. If you're setting up payroll for the first time, choose Blank Company. The first step is to set up employee paydays. You need to set up a payday for each pay frequency you run, such as weekly or monthly. To set up your pay calendar, click Paydays. You can now select the relevant pay calendar you want to create. For example, if you pay your employees weekly, click Set Up Weekly Calendar. From the Weekly Paydays Setup window, choose your payday. Enter the date of your first pay run. And if required, select the Avoid Public Holidays and Weekends checkbox. Once you've entered all of the required information, click Save. If you have employees that are paid on different frequencies, repeat this process for any other pay frequencies that you need. Once you've set up all the paydays, click Summary. The next step is to enter your employee details. From the Summary screen, click Blank Company, then click Employees. To begin entering your employee details, click Create Employee. When creating an employee record, you need to complete any boxes where an asterisk appears next to the box description. Once you've completed the personal detail section, you need to enter at least Street 1 and Street 2 under the contact details. This is so HMRC have enough information about your employee when you make your first real-time information submission. Under Employment Details, complete any boxes marked with an asterisk and the RTI Pay ID option if you have this available. If you're unsure where to find this in your previous system, please check with your software provider. Under Starting Basis, there are three options available. If the employee started working for you before the start of the tax year you're setting up, select This is an existing employee and complete the details. If your employee is a new starter, they need to provide you with a P45 or P46, select the form you've received, and enter the required details. As part of this process, you need to enter your employee's circumstances. To view a brief description on each of these, select the statement from the list. Once you've entered all of the information required, click Save and follow the process again for each employee you need to create. The import process is broken up into three manageable stages. These include setting up your pay calendar that you want to use and confirming your P32 reporting details and completed periods. This is so Sage One knows where to start from in the new tax year. We recommend that if you're using this setup, that you've completed all pay runs in your previous software and made your submissions to HMRC from the last P32 reporting period. For example, if you set up that your last completed P32 period was month 1, that means all pay runs up to the 5th of May have been completed outside of Sage 1, and you wish to start processing payroll from the 6th of May onwards. Next, choose how often you want to pay your employees by entering the relevant information into your chosen pay frequency, then click Next. You can now add your employees. Click the Add Employee button. You'll need to complete the three tabs for Personal Details, Tax Details and Opening Balances. This is to ensure your employees are set up correctly. You can find out more information on how to enter the opening balances from the article in our Help Center. The third step allows you to confirm your employee details and submit them into Sage One Payroll. 
When you're happy to complete the process, click Done. If you do need to go back and edit any of the information, you can click on the Review, Edit or Further Configure your imported data link on your summary screen. This is available until you process your first pay run. Once you've set up your pay calendar and employees through either method, you can now start processing your pay runs as normal. For help on how to do this, you can view more videos through the SageOne Support Hub.